I'm gonna say we've done a lot of crazy things, but climbing an active volcano, that's definitely the craziest yet. <laughs> One month ago, lava was flowing. That's nuts. Less than a year ago, it killed a whole bunch of people. This is crazy insane. Thanks for joining us on another journey. Today, we're in Guatemala. If you're new to the channel, that's April and I'm Wayne. We do a video every Thursday, so hit that subscribe button and smash that bell. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the journey. We're just about an hour outside of Antigua, Guatemala. We're gonna ride some horses up the Pacaya Volcano, which in Spanish is Vulcan Bacaya. This is Jorge, our local guide, and we're on his horses. And this is Butterfly. This is Bella. You're gonna walk. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hairy. I'm less. You're not gonna believe what it costs to ride a horse up an active volcano. Watch to the end to find out the answer. We are in the number point. We will go up to the number two. The altitude at 2,300 meters high. We are in 18 meters high. All round trip is approximately three hours. In Guatemala, we have three mm -hmm. active volcanoes, but the activity in those volcanoes is we call Stromboli. We have in general four different activities, Hawaiiano, Stromboliano, Peliano, and Volcaniano. Stromboli is ash, sand, lava, and it's short activities every short time. They will be next you, the the helpers. Yeah. ¿Cómo te llamas? Jorge. Ah, sí, sí, Jorge. Another ¿Y tú? Jorge. ¿Cómo te llamas? Beto. Beto. Let's go to the beach. Heck yeah. We're at a different national park in Guatemala. After walking seven miles yesterday on cobblestone, we were more than happy to get a lift from these horses. You don't have to take the horses up. You have the opportunity to hike up. How are you, April? Good. How are you, Wayne? I am wonderful. Fire? <laughs> Not yet. This is easy. <laughs> Much easier than walking. Of course. What you think, Mr. Wayne? I'm enjoying it. So much fun riding up the horse. Riding, riding the horses up the volcano. <laughs> <laughs> During the trail, yeah, you will know more thing about Guatemala. What we were just looking at was the wax tree. That's how they make candle wax from the little beads that I was just squeezing. And they also make shampoos. Wow, look at this view. You can see the black volcanic sand over there. It's a dry lava from the last December. The lava fell down. It was killing avocado plantation, corn plantation, uh, black beans plantation, and some areas when the people, they get food for, for cows. getting higher and higher in elevation. I'm so thankful to have a horse. So what do you do today? <laughs> oh, I rode horseback up an active volcano. <laughs> right. <laughs> in Guatemala. Say YouTube. Hello, YouTube. Hello. Hello. Hi. At the front entrance, you can get a walking stick, which I would highly suggest doing if you've got balance issues. How much do we pay for the walking stick? 10 quetzales, dollar 40. The weather seems to be changing like every couple minutes. One minute it's super sunny, the next minute it's freezing cold, like windy. You're gonna wanna bring clothing for every type of weather because you've got the highlands, the lowlands, the tropical rainforests. It's hot, it's cold, it's wet, it's freezing. Yeah, you got the Caribbean, the Pacific coast. How much did we pay for the whole activity? It's a 100 one way. Yeah. Uh, the getting into volcano. 200. You can see the volcanic steam coming up. We're gonna hike over to it. If you're gonna come to an active volcano, you might as well go all the way. But now it's a sleeping volcano. I but, hope it stays uh, sleeping. One month ago, you saw lava rivers coming down. This is for you. Oh my God, what is that? It's a worm. That's a worm? It's a grub. It's a beer, yeah. He said, if you want, you can eat a part or here, another part to eat. To eat? Yeah. Hell no. 
How far each? Okay, go. <laughs> <laughs> After you, Jorge. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be gross. Yeah. Too much gringo for that. <laughs> Good thing we took the horse. Oh, yeah. This thing is like straight up and gravelly gravel. Welcome to Pacaya. Uh, thanks for having us. This is my friend Hello, David. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Welcome to Lava Store. Welcome to the shop. Everything is made with the petrified lava stone from Pacaya. This is the volcano collection. There are rings, earrings, necklaces. collection. This is done out of uh, sterling silver, and then the lava stone has been worked into different of the pieces. Now the collection that you see here, it looks like wood, but the artisans utilize something very organic, the coconut shell. And then they hand carve the coconut shell like so. And then they inlay the petrified lava stone from papaya into each of the pieces. So the black that you see is the petrified lava that's been artfully done with all of the collection. Now, oh, and, and to give you an idea, this is 100 cassava? Uh -huh, or so 13 Yeah, $13, yeah. Dollars. So just, just to give the uh, viewers at home. Thank you so much. And then this collection here is made out of non-precious metals utilizing pewter, but with the lava from papaya as well. There are necklaces and earrings in this collection. They run from like 40 quetzales, 60, 80, and so forth, uh, equivalent to starting price points of $5, uh, $7 and $10, let's say. And it's all handcrafted, Correct. it's not Chinese garbage. No, not at all. And when you purchase a piece from each collection of the Lava Collection, you get these little pouches as packaging. And from the, for the Silver Collection or the Volcano Collection, you get those coin cases as well for uh, the packaging. So please enjoy. This one is for you. Old is cool. Yeah, that's what I need. real perspective of real lava flow. Can you imagine the stuff travels at 70 kilometers an hour? Oh, that hurt like hell. Okay? Yeah, it's still weird. You okay? Then, yeah, then. I'm good. I fell down the mountain! <laughs> Here you will fill the vapor. You oh, can, yeah. Yeah? Oh, you know? oh man, that is pokey on the butt. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> pokey on the butt? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you sit on it. It's a volcano sauna. Yeah. We're going to cook marshmallows on this. Oh, wow. The lava rock. In this Pacaya volcano, it's like a tradition. Everybody, when the time is here, when we are on the summit, the people looking for an uh, oven and we cook marshmallows. Oh. For that, Jorge, he brings uh, some dry steak. Marshmallows a la pacaya. <laughs> Pizza más cara del mundo, the expensive pizza. No, 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 that's not Chavo on the cheap. Was it really 100 US? No. Yeah. Oh. 100 casadas? I have no idea. Oh, you don't even know. 400 for a big one? 400, 400 for the big daddy? 400 quesadas, which is $51 for a pizza. It's taking so money for pizza. Putting the pizza okay. in the up. Oh. 
So what do you think, Wayne? Pacaya or Samuk Champagne? Samuk Champagne was amazing, but Pacaya? Next level amazing. I mean, Pacaya kicked our butts. It's worth every step. And, Absolutely. And even falling down the mountain and hurting my arm, and totally worth it. As you can see, the professor is a real man. He walked all the way up, all the way down. American took the easy way out. And that wasn't that easy. No. <laughs> I tell you what, Guatemala, every day we come here is like a different adventure, a mind blowing adventure. at the pharmacy is a physical therapist and she saved me I mean I still hurt I definitely have a lot of damage but oh man that just goes to show you how fast a day can go from super easy to not good fast yeah if you guys are deciding to travel out of the country I still suggest getting some travel insurance be very careful be very careful because it's you know things are different in, in different countries you know Luckily, the local people saved me. We want to thank you guys for watching our video all the way to the end. If you would, hit that subscribe button, share it with a friend, and like always, thank you for living life.